Published 1840 Eastern Standard Time, the 6th of March 2018. Updated 258 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of March 2018. So Bradley Wiggins came under fire from his own coach and mentor on Tuesday night as the team Sky Drugs storm descended into an astonishing war of words. Shane Sutton was once a father figure to Wiggins as well as deputy to Team Sky Chief Sir Dave Brailsford, but he called for the 2012 Tour de France winner and then Team Dr Richard Freeman to tell the truth about the cyclists' use of the controversial corticosteroid Triam seen alone. And only 24 hours after Wiggins had denied being treated by Freeman on the team bus on the day the now infamous Jiffy bag was delivered in the French Alps, Sutton contradicted the five times Olympic champion by saying that he still believed he was. Indeed, that was what Sutton told a parliamentary hearing. Former Team Sky coach Shane Sutton has called for Sir Bradley Wiggins to tell the truth. Sutton insists that Wiggins was treated on the Team Sky bus, something Wiggins denier Sutton spoke to Sky Sports News in Mallorca earlier on Tuesday, and Team Sky officials were apparently keen to see their former employee give the interview. By Tuesday night, however, it amounted to yet more damage to the credibility of Wiggins, Brailsford and a professional cycling team already in crisis. In the explosive parliamentary report published on Monday, Sutton had asserted that Wiggins' use of Triam seen alone during his cycling career was unethical. His statement sent shockwaves through Team Sky, who perhaps hoped he might even retract the remark. Wiggins has said he was hurt by the comment. It was unclear what he said about that particular issue because no reference was made to it in the interview broadcast by the channel owned by the same company as Team Sky. Sir Bradley Wiggins has admitted using Triamcene alone but says he didn't cross an ethical line as he did, however, run some candid responses from Sutton, who expressed his frustration that he and Brailsford had been forced to face a grilling from MPs in December 2016. I have no axe to grind with Brad, said Sutton, who resigned from his position as British Cycling's technical director in April. 2016 amid accusations of bullying and discrimination but is now working with China's national cycling team. My axe to grind here is that Brad and the doc, Freeman, had a chance to come forward and they never came forward. They had a chance to defend Dave Brailsford and it should have been them in front of the select committee and not myself and Dave. That grieves me a little bit but not to the point where I wouldn't sit down with Brad and have a drink. There's no problem there whatsoever. I watched him on TV last night and he looked very stressed but I'm calling for him and the doctor to come forward now and tell the truth, Sir David Brailsford chats to Wiggins ahead of Stage 4 of the 2013 Giro d'Italia DCMS Select Committee accused Wiggins of using Triamcine alone with a medical exemption certificate ahead of the 2012 tour for performance benefits rather than a medical need. In essence MPs called Wiggins and Team Sky cheats. But their inquiry, and the investigation by UK anti-doping that occurred in tandem, focused on Sportsmail's revelations about a medical package delivered for Wiggins at the conclusion of the 2011 Criterium du Dauphine. The allegation was that the package contained triamcine alone, and Sutton told MPs that the medication contained in the package was administered to Wiggins on the team bus. Had it been triamcine alone, it would have been an anti-doping rule violation. Wiggins not only denies cheating and using triamcine alone for or anything other than treatment for asthma and allergy problems, he also denies being treated with anything by Freeman on the bus. In an interview with the BBC on Monday night Wiggins said, We travelled six hours later on a training camp to Sestier at high altitude and I was treated that night when the doctor came with fluimusil with a nebulizer. In Sestria, out of competition, not on the bus. Because we are still tidying up, I was doing podium, I was doing press, I was doing dope control. I had just won the race. DCMS report states that Wiggins used Triamcine alone to enhance his performance. The reputation of Wiggins is in ruins after the explosive parliamentary report was published on Tuesday night. However, Sutton said, I understand that he was treated on the bus and I thought that was public knowledge. This goes back to 12 months ago and whenever I was interviewed by Parliament. That's the statement I made and that's what the doctor told me, so once again I would call for the doctor and Brad to come forward in front of you and answer these questions that you're asking me because they're really not for me. Freeman refused to appear before MPs, citing ill health, and did not appear before a disciplinary hearing at British Cycling over his failure to keep proper medical records, including what was in the jiffy bag, preferring instead to resign from his position last year. But Sky Sports News reported that they had spoken to him and said Freeman had echoed Wigan's version of events. 
Freeman is now at the center of a general medical council investigation that Sportsmail understands has uncovered new evidence about a delivery of testosterone patches to the headquarters of Team Sky and British Cycling. The DCMS report noted Brailsford's attempts to persuade Sportsmail not to run Jiffy Bag story asked about Wigan's use of triamcine alone. Sutton said, I can't actually say I know a lot about Brad's use of it, whether in competition or out of competition. I'm told by the doc we've got a two for this particular amount, etc., etc. I keep saying to everybody that they'd have to go and sit down with Brad and the doc and ask them if you were sanctioned to use it by the UCI in the lead up to major tours and everything else because obviously, he is a sufferer, when you've actually been on a call and you've seen him suffer the way. I've seen him suffer and you've seen him gasping for breath at the end of that particular effort, which everyone will say, oh, you always get out of breath making an effort, but to see what he was going through, I can't answer all the questions you've just asked me on how often he used it or when he did. That's something that only Brad and the Doc can tell us.